Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Sit at home. Uh, every Monday has come and gone. Looking forward to the next Monday. But the last few hours ago, we saw almost a hundred percent compliance. Whether through fear or through sheer desire to stay at home, you could see that Ghost Monday was a hundred percent lead. Autopilot was activated indeed in the southeastern zone. But of course, uh, some parts of uh, Nigerians and some parts of their friends have been talking over the saga between Simon Ipa and um, the DSS, DOS, uh, the Directorate of State, um, HOD, is the last of Master Chika Dozem. They've been a little fuckers. A quick recap for some of us who do not understand or do not understand where it all began. It all began when there was a call out uh, by um, the DOS to Mazi Simon Ikba to come take over Biafra the radio, radio Biafra platform when Mazi Namdekano was in and still is in detention. At the initial stage, he was very glad to do so. He wrote up and said he would be glad to, you know, to take up where Mazi Namdekano stopped, not because he wants to take over, but simply because he wants the struggle to continue. And then, all of a sudden, we just realized there was also another press release made by Emma Powerful saying that for some personal reasons, for uh, documents meant that um, Simon Ipa refused to sign, he cannot be allowed to stay on the platform to broadcast. Fast forward these after Simon Ipa became super, super active on his pages and you know, continued with the Biafran struggle, kept on talking, kept on, you know, you know, talking more like Martin Amicano would talk. And of course, there was also the issue of, um, um, uh, fund account funds for ESN. Some persons, some persons, even the siblings of Mazen Alkan, they bought some of the account numbers being paraded, saying they were more interested in the monies for ESN than more interested in the monies than for the Biafran struggle. Time went by, internal struggles kept on coming until finally uh, Simon Upa could take it no more and had said to release a lot of things. You're going to find out in a moment what truly transpired why Simon Ipa, Ipa refused to you know speak or talk on Radio Biafra and why he stood tall and still kept on doing what he knows best you know for the for the people he loves I feel he loves and for the fact that some persons have been a bit of divided house saying that he's doing it because he wants to hijack some persons said no he's doing it because he understands what freedom fighting is all about before we do so like and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel or youtube yesterday evening as always a bit radio biafra was on live they started making some um you know uh alterations declarations and some of the facts well mazi simon did not let it lie in low he said to do a mail to whatsapp mail um private mail dm to mazi sim uh, mazi chika idozim and this is what he wrote he said they were mazi chika idozim meaning Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or well done. And they will could be like, um, well done, or, or how are you doing? Something like just some sort of greeting in Igbo language. He said, now, it's Simon Ipa is writing to Mazi Chikaidozim, which is the head, uh, head of the um, department of um, D DOS, IPOB. He said, listening to your broadcast this evening, which was yesterday, it is unbelievable that you publicly lied against me. You said that I told you people to hand me over Radio Biafra. This is a fat lie. And for your information, I recorded that meeting because I knew this would come up. Hmm. Which means that meeting they had in private between Simon Ipa and the dealers. Simon Ipa actually recorded it and kept it just in case. For he was probably perceiving his inner man that they may likely want to rope him on something. So he's not saying, yeah, but that changed this because I have the true recordings of what transpired between us. Let's continue. Number two, because he listed it up. He said, number two, prior to that meeting, Chinasa Muru, Muru had confronted me that I must hand over all my platform as a condition to broadcast on Radio Biafra, of which I made very clear that it is not possible and that I have something going on with Onyendu already on media. I don't need to go into details until Onyendu is out. I demand you go back on air and correct the lies you told about me. I have no reason to demand you to hand over Radio Biafra to me. Don't push me to start addressing what you people have done with my name in Directorate of State. When Chinasa and his group went to a meeting with USA 
USA women, American women. They told them different lies. The reason I can't broadcast on Radio Biafra. I will keep that for another day. Again, I demand you readdress these lies told against me on Radio Biafra. If I begin to address you, it will not end well. Regards, Simeon Iqba. Just correct some typo for the records. Hmm. Now, for some persons who have been dragging me out saying uh, uh, that why am I... These are things that are going on. And for posterity's sake, it's always best that in the uh, activities of the struggle for peer factual actualization, the record should be set straight. Now, uh, Simon Nipa has been on and off over this issue of Radio Biafra and has been quite silent in his attitude. Some uh, persons, for one way or another, some persons have been calling him out saying his ways are, uh, he's going contrary to the DOS, while some are actually in full support of him saying he's one person that brings fire just like Mazen Amdekano. And for such, some persons have followed him, hook, line, and sinker. Now he's saying, because a lot of people are wondering, why wouldn't uh, Simenipa sign whatever document? It's not for the same struggle for the actualization of Biafra that he has sworn that he would want to do. Now he's now saying that there's some things they asked him to do that he wouldn't want to do. One of which was to hand over the platforms he single-handedly built okay, to them. Of which it doesn't see anything right in it. Seeing that him and Mazen Namdekano, that is already in detention right now, as at the time of filing this report, have something going that he has. He doesn't. That does not, you know, correlate. If they want him to be in Radio Biafra, okay, that's a different matter. But his platform still remains his platform. So he said there's so, so many lies in between here and there. So that for so that no, tomorrow nobody keeps accusing this person. And so yeah, he's making it public now. Say, so look, go back. To the same Radio Biafra, you accused and told people, and China Sanwaru said some certain lies against him in the USA and all that. I wouldn't know how through that is because that is a one sided story until we get to hear what Chinasa gets to say. Okay, but if not, he said that this whole lies against him should be corrected. If you have been following him in Simon, but you will know that over some time, never since Mazen Navikano have gone into detention, his followership base have really increased. Okay, now, DOS for a while now have now been doing a lot of broadcast probably every other time. Don't also forget that when it comes to uh, uh, sit at home order, uh, DOS actually started it. They suspended it. After suspension, they still found out that it was still ongoing despite the suspension, which Stephen Lippert had said, let it be autopiloted until Mazen Navikano is released. They are of the opinion, they are of, the, of the opinion that they shouldn't, they should keep it cool, keep it calm, till the month or the days that Mazen Navikano will be going for, you know, um, hearings, court hearings, then they can make it sit at home. You can see the little disparity here and there, but definitely they still seem to be too much. But personal opinion, this is now my personal opinion, I feel whatever it is, like brothers, they should settle it off camera, off the media. I'm sure if Mazen Amdekano was out, I don't think he would actually have permitted them to be, keep, you know, talking about this publicly. I think if he's on the same page, they're looking out for Biafra, then they should go about the proper way. Except somebody somewhere is telling a lie or somebody somewhere has sinister plans. Let's see that conversation was to take place. Please.